welcome to this channel. In this tutorial, we will simulate the CMOS inverter using the variable load. Before going into this tutorial, I request you to like, share and subscribe to my channel below. Open a new schematic window. Now click on components and select PMOS with explicit substrate connection and place this on the schematic window. Click escape and again select on components and select NMOS with explicit substrate connection and place this on the schematic window. Now click escape. Now select the wire and connect the drain of PMOS to the drain of NMOS and the gate of PMOS to the gate of NMOS. Now click on components and we have to select the voltage source for this particular circuit. So click on components and select the voltage source. Place two different voltage source and place this on the schematic window. Now right click on the voltage source V1 and enter the DC value as 1 volt. Now right click on V1 and we will change this particular voltage source name to VDD. Now right click on the voltage source V2 and click on advanced and select pulse. Define the V initial as 0, V on as 1 volt, T delay as 500 people and T rise as 1 pico and T fall as 1 picosecond and T on as 1000 picosecond and click OK. Now click on ground and place this particular ground connection on the schematic window and click on wire. Now connect the negative terminal of the VDD source to the ground and the negative terminal of source V2 to the ground. Draw a wire at the positive terminal of VDD and on the positive terminal of voltage source V2. Right click on V2 and change the name as Vin. Now click on label net and type VDD and place this on the positive terminal of VDD source. Again click on label net and type Vin and place across the terminal of source V in. Now click on wire and make this as an input for the CMOS inverter. Again click on wire and make this as an output of the CMOS inverter. Now click on capacitor and place this capacitor on the schematic window. Click on ground and place the ground connection on the schematic. Click on wire and connect the output of inverter to the capacitor and the capacitor to the ground. Click on ground connection, place this ground connection on the schematic window and place this ground on the substrate of NMOS inverter. Now click on wire and connect the source to the ground and connect the wire and make this 
wire as the VDD using the label net. Click on label net and name this as VN and place this on the input. Now right click on the capacitor and name this as C load. Right click on the capacitor and instead of defining the value in the flower bracket define this as C load since we would be using the variable load for simulation. Now we have to define the BSIM model for the PMOS and NMOS transistor. So copy the BSIM model file into the folder called as CMOS variable load and paste this. Now double click on the BSIM model file and you can see the model name. So we have to right click on the PMOS and define the model name as P underscore 50 nano and define the length as 50 nano and width as 1 micro. Similarly, we have to also define the value for NMOS. So right click on NMOS and change the name as N underscore 50 nano, define the length as 50 nano and width as 500 nano and click OK. Now we have to include the BSIM model on the schematic. So click on edit and click on spice derivative and define this as dot include bsim4 underscore model dot text and place this on the schematic window. Now since we are using the variable load so we have to define this particular syntax so you have to include this particular syntax in order to define the different load while using for the simulation purpose so place this particular syntax on the schematic window Now click on edit and select the spice analysis. Enter the stop time as 2 nano and click OK and place this on the schematic window. Now save this particular schematic and let us perform the simulation. Click on run button and place the probe on the V in. You can see the input of this particular circuit. Click on the invert output. You can see the output of this particular circuit with respect to the variable capacitor load which has been placed. Thank you for watching this tutorial. I hope this has helped your learning purpose. I request you to like, share and subscribe my channel below.